This is the mindset that took me from making $10,000 a month to $150,000, $200,000 a month at 24 years old. And obviously there are levels to the game. There are people making way more than me, but obviously I feel like a majority of people probably aren't. So this is why I think I should make this video because the mindset that you have to have between the $10,000 a month, well, let's talk about zero to $10,000 a month first. To get from zero to $10,000 a month first, ultimately what it comes down to is having a good offer and structuring a decent offer. Zero to $10,000 a month is really, really not that hard at all when you look back in retrospect. Obviously back in the day when I first started, it was like a big milestone for me. It's everyone's first milestone is going zero to 10K. There might be some tonalities in my voice where I'm like, oh, it's really not that hard that piss you off. And that's probably a good thing. You should get pissed off when people talk like that because it's you can allow it to make you insecure or you can allow it to fire you up to make more. There are people making $5 million, $10 million a month and that pisses me off because like, what do I need to do to get there? You know, it's just like all of these people that you see that are super successful are just normal people just like you and I. They've just figured something out. What do you think they know that you don't? All of it's just knowledge that is obtainable and you just need to find a way to obtain it and then implement it. A lot of people claim to be super smart, but if they're not making any money with their information, what really are they? You know, it's like you're just wasted potential at that point. And I know money isn't everything, but it can really increase the quality of your life. And if you're not pursuing something, you're not growing, then you're dying. You know, and I think that life is really meant for growing and pursuing and not just chilling. And like, I could buy all me and sell all my stuff and just go chill and live a very low key life, but I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that until I have a lot of cushion so that I can live wherever I want. I can live in the nicest places in the world. I can go live in Italy for the summer if I want to. I can go live in Colorado and ski for the winter if I want to and just not have to worry about these things. So getting from zero to 10K a month is just having a good offer. Have a good offer that is structured, that provides value to the customer. And once you have something, whether that be a TikTok shop offer like I have, a copywriting offer or a fitness offer, you wanna help people build a fitness brand, you wanna help people get in shape. Ultimately, for a business to succeed, you have to be helping people with something that they need help with. That's really what it comes down to. My offer, I help people make more money with TikTok shop because who doesn't want more money? Everyone does. So you make more money with TikTok shop and I make money because I teach you how to make money. It's that simple. So getting from zero to 10K is one, you need to structure a really good offer. And two, you need to have people that'll buy your offer. And that's literally all it comes down to. And the third one, fulfillment. So if you can have a good offer, people that'll buy your offer and actually have something that'll fulfill your offer using softwares like Kajabi, ClickFunnels, WAP. I use WAP personally because it's like an all-in-one platform except for the emails. Using these types of softwares, I use Kajabi for my emails. So when they sign up on WAP, I capture their emails and I'll have my email guy export the email list from WAP to Kajabi and then every day at like 6 p.m. we'll send an email to interact with my community. You can do that by building like a free PDF, a free YouTube video and collecting people's emails, um, like an unlisted YouTube video saying, hey, I made a free course. All you gotta do is sign up with your email and you can watch the free course. Or I made you this PDF file. A lot of people do that on Twitter. You can use a software like tweethunter.io where you can tweet something and every time someone replies to your tweet, they automatically get a DM. Utilize these softwares to find people that want to buy your product, but to find those people, you're going to want to put out free value to the world first. And this is where social media comes into play. So you have an offer, you know what you want to sell. Now you start posting on social media every day, three times a day. You can use a software called ManyChat so that anytime someone comments on your Instagram reel or your slides up on your story, they get a DM automated as well. It's what I'm doing for my low ticket offer for Media Labs right now. Every time someone swipes up on my story or comments on a reel, they get an automated message that says, hey, I just dropped this low ticket for Media Labs, check it out. And I'm sending hundreds and hundreds of DMs every day without even having to type. It's a beautiful thing. So that's how I find people to buy my offer is by providing value to them, by building a connection with them, making them relate with me and sharing my story, sharing my perspective, sharing my mindset. And that makes them obviously trust me. And then that's how you get to 10K. So getting to 10K is building that offer, finding the people, and fulfilling it. It's super easy that you only need to sell something 10 times, 10 times in a month at $1,000 to make $10,000 or 20 times at $500, super easy. You also have to shift your mindset from scarcity to abundance. 
a lot of people have this scarcity mindset where they're like, oh, there's not enough people. Who, who's going to want to buy my stuff, dude? There's so many people out there. You don't understand how many people there are out there. There's thousands, hundreds, millions of people that would buy your things, but they just need to know why they want to buy them. And that's your job as a marketer to explain to them why they should, because there's no scarcity of people. The only scarcity is your limiting belief. You need to think abundantly and know that, yeah, there's a lot of people out here that would buy my stuff. I just need to explain to them why they should. I need to connect with them. Getting from 10K to 100K in a month, you really need to change your perspective from I need to do everything to who can I hire to do these things. So like those emails, I don't do those anymore. I have someone writing my emails for me. I have someone doing all the back end stuff in my business because now I have so many people involved in my business that I need a customer support manager so that all of my customers are always happy all the time. So we pay a CSM to keep my customers happy. Long story short, when you're running a business, one of my really smart friends told me is that your next intention shouldn't be what car am I going to get next? What am I going to buy next? Your next idea, your next intention to grow your business needs to be who am I going to hire next? I literally have two teammates that are in this office with me and we're all constantly working. I have someone who manages the brand deal side of things for Media Labs. So they get on the calls with the brand owners, explain to them how it works and they get the brand signed up. I have someone who manages the discord entirely in the whole community. So he coaches the coaches because if our students aren't successful, we're not gonna be successful. So we have to have a coach that coaches the coaches to be successful at TikTok shop. We have obviously the CSM who oversees all of the little nitty gritty things from the community. People have complaints, people have feedback, they wanna give it to us. We have someone that manages that. So I can keep going on and on and on because our team is huge. But a year ago when I was making 20, 30K a month, I had zero people on my team, maybe one person on my team. And now I have about 20 people on my team. And that's how I went from 20, 30K a month to 100K a month. So it's always, who can I hire next? Who can I hire next? And you don't just wanna hire anyone. You really wanna hire from inside your community. You wanna build out a community. And those are the people that are gonna really treat your business like it's their own. Like the people in my business literally treat my business like it's their business. And those are the people that you wanna hire and have on your team because they will help you scale to oblivion. And I know there's not gonna be a lot of people that watch this YouTube video because it's kind of like pretty niche. Uh, like owning a business is pretty niche, but I do think it's really important um, for those of you who are out there and listening to be intentional about who you hire. Don't just hire the first person that comes your way. Be super intentional about it because they can make or break your whole business. And if you guys don't have good synergy on your team, it's gonna be really hard to grow if you're butting heads. So you need to have good synergy at all times, you all need to be on the same page, have the same intention about where you wanna head in your business, and that will help you get from zero to 100K. I wish I could do 100K to 1 million a month. I haven't gotten there yet personally, so hopefully next year at this time, I'm gonna be giving you guys some game on how to do 100K to a million. So hopefully this was a good little bit of game for you guys on how to start your business from zero to 10K, 10K to 100K. Hopefully you implement this and see a difference in your life. I love you guys and I appreciate you tremendously. See you in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe. Peace.